Hello everyone, and welcome to the Price is Right Internet Friend Edition, where you get a group of friends and find random terrible items on the internet, and show them to each other, and you try and guess how much it costs to buy that item on that listing. So, for those who don't know how the game works, you try to guess as close to the item's price as you can without going too high. So if Will is presenting an item worth $10, and I guess 11, I lose because I went over. We have two house rules. If everybody guesses too high, then the host gets a point, and if you guess the exact price down to the cent, then you get five points. And you can play along at home. See how many prices you can write. Here is the first item. Uh, this lovely item is a Nike Dunk SB Low Yellow Lobster. That's what it's called. Yuck. Who skinned SpongeBob? <laughs> how much would you pay for this shoe? Because the listing has a price. So, how much I would pay for this shoe is probably very different <laughs> from how much that shoe costs. How yeah. much do you think this person okay. wants for this shoe? They're uh, they're Nike, and these. Nike. You gotta also figure that these are like one yeah. of a kind because yeah. they look awful. <laughs> Oh, God. Shoes so, always cost too fucking much. They sure do. One hundred and forty dollars. Four hundred forty. Two ninety nine ninety nine. Seven hundred and seventy. All right, you've all given your prices. Uh, this humble shoe, according to this seller, is worth a cool ten thousand. <laughs> and that's why this game sucks. I hate the price is right. I got, I got one. We have a boxed Fushigi. <laughs> oh. Hey. Question real quick, what the fuck is a Fushigi? I'm glad you asked, a Fushigi is like a, a ball? It's a ball, you <laughs> hold it, and you impress your friends, maybe. Uh, You're supposed to do tricks with it, like a yo-yo, but it's just a ball. But it's a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. Oh, I'm low balling. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, low ball. Seventy-five. Come bucks. on, low fushigi ball. All right. So, uh, thanks to the terrible rules of the Price Is Right, Jello is the winner. The the boxed fushigi costs thirty-four dollars. No! <laughs> 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 That's so dumb. I have something. This is a hand inked painted black buck antelope skull bone taxidermy mask. You, yeah, you said it two is... words in there. You said taxidermy and hand painted. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Does it specify where the skulls are obtained from? So it, it does say uh, I have access to a variety of exotic non native animal skulls and bones. So if there's. Oh, you have access to them! That's a really nondescript answer. It's like, hey man, can you find me a skull? Yeah, I've got access. <laughs> I can see. Let me open up the skull vault! $295. Really? That's... Oh. Yeah. That's nice. actually pretty reasonable. This is bedtime Santa Merman. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. very saucy looking. He is a Christmas ornament, approximately seven inches tall, and comes with an original box and is hand painted. I I love the deep, deep V deep he's got yeah. going on. Yeah, and he pulls I'm, up wait. the sleeves because he's business casual. <laughs> you can see that he clearly does not have legs in there, so it's not a costume, right? That coat going up over his arms, that's his skin. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I don't, I don't like that. That's horrific. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely in the same ballpark as you, Savvy. This is definitely a cheap thing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, uh, let's, 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 let's call it 30. You know what, Lamp? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go narrow field. <laughs> <laughs> now, you narrowed in the wrong direction. No! You should have narrowed to exactly 32.99. Oh! <laughs> Uh, there is a there is a listing for a box of 500 one inch long crickets. <laughs> How much do you think it costs to release a plague of crickets upon your house? You know what? I'm gonna go super low. That's like a thing you use to feed a pet. Yeah. I'm gonna say like, you know what? Seven dollars. It's a cricket. They're worth nothing. <laughs> I think now, I'm gonna uh, go with the, exactly eleven ninety nine. The price to release a plague of crickets upon the enemy who you hate the most uh, is a paltry twenty two ninety nine. Oh, Ooh. okay. For a cool one hundred dollars, you can unleash what fucking two thousand <laughs> crickets on someone? Yeah. <laughs> for for a paltry sum, you can disturb your local ecosystem. Uh, so. 
what I've got next for you. And it, it is it is the Ramini Blue tall cat figure. You that looks like. cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I have read a book called The Curse of the Blue Figurine that is about exactly that item. Yeah. <laughs> right. This looks like a Jumanji piece. Don't yeah. buy that. <laughs> it's 100% earthenware, and it is 33 centimeters tall. It's made by Bitossi Ceramish. It could be a murder weapon. Like that's a name I can't pronounce. Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go expensive as well. Twenty so bucks. Like Five hundred dollars. Twenty bucks. <laughs> Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bones for the cursed cat. Now that's ruining someone's life on a budget. <laughs> we've cut out. We've cut out two dollars worth of cricket. <laughs> <laughs> do I want? That's... I just. I love the image of someone in like a cursed store being like, "Ooh, do I want to go with the crickets? Oh, the cursed figurine is a little cheaper." <laughs> <laughs> if we're going by the cricket metric system, you can buy this thing for 2,000 crickets, i.e. $196. Okay. I really don't want to say the name of this, the listed name. I just love your guesses as to what this necklace is made out of first. Just real quick. Uh, beans. It's poo. Calcified testicles. Kidney stones. Oh, no. Breast milk somehow. This is the <laughs> listed name. <laughs> ah, yeah. oh. Real moose poop, nine doo doo nugget necklace jewelry. Weird. This is on um, Etsy. So I'm gonna go with. You could. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, Lamb's correct. I. Uh, Almost so, gone, there's uh, only one left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess there was one in the first place. I feel like I feel like the man who's releasing the crickets and putting the cat statue in your home is wearing one of these. It gives him his power. Forty-five dollars. Okay, this oh, real moose savvy. poop nine doo doo nugget necklace jewelry <laughs> weird is exactly thirty-eight ninety-nine. Ah, <laughs> you really boned me, savvy. <laughs> so, uh, this is this is a, a cute little one. Um. It is a 18-piece Super Mario Brothers Bros. figure toy, two-inch PVC toys free. <laughs> that is the title. Uh, um, free shipping uh, from Walmart. Is it in box? <laughs> Doesn't say. You know what, is it just a pile I guarantee of you that's in a plastic it's free. bag. It is Rube, just ride or die. It's free. <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm, ride or die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one's free. The the full name of this is Colorful Set of 18 Pieces Super Mario Brothers Bros Figure Toy Two Inches PVC Toy Free. It's free. Yeah, it's, it's, it's free. Savvy, you in the lead have the ethical dilemma right now of four people picking the same price, which is no money. If you guess a cent or higher, you will. Guaranteed win unless it is free. <laughs> or we can all get a point. What do you do? I pick betrayal. Oh! We shouldn't have trusted you! Savvy wins because yes. it's a thousand dollars. What? Are you kidding me? Th look at that free. peach! I said it was free! That, that peach. Uh, free first, shipping. Okay. That peach <laughs> is. <laughs> Not colored correctly at all. They said it was free! <laughs> Here we have the 3D skull Ooh. flexible silicon ice cube mold tray. It makes four giant skulls. Mm. How okay, giant? I won't lie, that's kind of neat. Yeah, no, usually, usually I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty thumbs down about novelty ice cube trays, but this one, you know, I'm on board. What is it that you hate about shaped ice lamp? <laughs> look, man, look, I cannot express to you the anger that I felt in my heart when I opened up my freezer and found that we had gun-shaped ice cube oh, tray. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that is, that is obnoxious. Ice, ice that motherfucker. All of you are wrong. This is a reasonably priced item at uh, 1195. Oh, oh really? That's yeah, price. that's fair. That is reasonable. Ooh. So, you go to the arcade, right? Uh -huh. You see the pinball machines, <laughs> like you see the does. air hockey table, and all that jazz. But what if you got to see Monopoly Redemption? <laughs> <laughs> What? How much do you think Monopoly Redemption costs? That's the real uh, I mean, it is his it is his iconic redemption arc where he becomes a communist. So I'm gonna say twenty grand. I'm I can't even really express what I feel. I, I had to do a double take reading the name. I'm just imagining like 
the cover to a Nathan Drake game with the Monopoly guy on the cover where his back's to the cover with and it's gun. all dark looking. So, you know what I love about this is like looking all over this machine, there, it, it never once says the word redemption. The word does not exist on this product. So why is it called Monopoly Redemption? <laughs> Will you pass $200? I'm actually going to guess uh, $200. No! I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass go. And, while, uh, while, while in my heart, Rube is correct. Austin, you are correct because this thing costs $9,499. Wow! That's so much. It's, yeah, no, it's an arcade machine. Expensive. Expensive. So guys, I can I can I go? I have a twofer. Ooh, I have twofer. a I have a combo pack. Yeah, oh, man. Hey, ladies. Uh -huh. Do you? Hi. Are, Hi. Do you ever think to yourself, <laughs> I want to go out on the town, but I don't smell enough like oh. vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I know Shalom. what part two is. Shalom, it's 1 a.m. You can't do this to me. I am making every stop gesture I know how to do. <laughs> so, you've got your smell, but you need to bring that class out on that classy date. No. So why not bring this wine lanyard? <laughs> <laughs> why is this? This looks like you could slingshot it into your drunk face. <laughs> please tell me, Jello, Jello, I beg of you, please tell me these are items that are labeled as frequently bought together. <laughs> Holy shit, no they aren't. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Let's add them together. What will it cost for this night on the town? <laughs> Why hang with the girls when you can smell like the girls? I have thirty dollars. Do, do we do we sixty-five for both? Do we include bail? <laughs> now, I don't want I don't want to bring this up, but why I can't help but notice that they felt the need to make the box wet. You guys are really underselling this thing's value as a self-defense item. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm gonna I'll, I'll do 90. I have to go this price because you know it's what's happening at the end of the night. Oh man, how much were the crickets worth? <laughs> <laughs> They're worth like $22. <laughs> I believe Lamp is the winner. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the wonderful Volva original, real vaginal scent. Oh. That's about $36. <laughs> and the wine is a cool $7. How many times have you been a uh, steep nomad in need of a home? Man, today? Oh, like like yeah. twice. More times than I can count. How much do you think you could get for this uh, fantastic 10-foot glacier yurt home kit? Why would I want this? Yeah. Because you're a steep nomad on the go. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps, it is reviewed at 4.5 stars with 5 <gasps> reviews. We are very happy with our yurt. Easy to set up and plenty of room inside. The perfect weekend getaway, Weston and Lydia. Weekend getaway? It's a yurt that you set up <laughs> next to your house. <laughs> no, that's somebody else's house. <laughs> you are a nomad. <laughs> you are a nomad. Oh my god. You have no home when you have a yurt. The world is your home. Please tell me the slogan is you're gonna love it. <laughs> uh, I am happy to report that, Will, you have won the battle. And yes. your reward is a yurt that you can <laughs> buy on sale for $5,937. Hey, all right. I have a lovely island off the coast of Thailand. <laughs> That has your name on it. Wow, oh, it looks like a whale. Yo, it's that Isle Delfino. Like... This is oh, Lamp, you fucking beat me. This is the Bromyai Island. It is an island that's popular with tourists and estate owners. It is the largest island currently available for sale in the region. So I would host a battle royale here. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna guess 40 mil. I'm gonna be the first of us to hit the billions. Damn it, I was in about to as well. I'll, I'll say three mil. It's a nice island too, it's really cute. Yeah, it's really pretty. Good job, island. <laughs> <laughs> you sick bastard. You know what, the second I entered it, I was 100% sure you were going to do that. <laughs> I can't help myself. Um, well, I was going to go with a lifetime of happiness spent with my beautiful girlfriend. However... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Lamp. Savvy has done it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, right I'd be amazed. Austin is the winner of a beautiful island. Yeah! 160 million. Uh, Alright, fair Excellent. enough. That's a good startup for an evil base. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Alright, boys. Oh! <laughs> how much does it Ooh. cost for one box of honeycomb <laughs> Oh, God. How much does mace cost? <laughs> I, yes! Hey, man, I loved honeycomb. Honeycomb was dope. Honeycomb is oh, a yeah, good sorry. cereal. I'll say four bucks. Mm, I'd say like 350. $2.99. Uh, Savvy, you and everyone else are wrong. I'm afraid it is this <laughs> <laughs> no! oh, Damn it, Rube. Rube. No! Oh, no. My power is leaking from me. What you really need is some sort of weapon to establish dominance in your new town as the mayor. Right. You need a cursed sword. <laughs> <laughs> Does it's it come with the included. old woman? <laughs> oh my god. And it doesn't it's... come with the woman, but I have her testament here. This sword is from the 1700s. Since it's been in my house, my life has descended into pure <laughs> chaos. My knitting group came over and they all said they could feel a strange energy in my sword room. I have a collection of over 100 swords. <laughs> this is my only haunted sword. How can you be sure? I am 76 years old. I cannot have this cursed item in my house anymore. Please take it off my head. Yeah, I'm with Savvy. Zero dollars for the sword, a hundred dollars for meeting this woman. <laughs> I'll, 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 back, I'll back you guys' horse. She just wants us out of her house. I think she's trying to make a little bit of money off of her sword. That is such an Austin statement through and through. Yeah, I've got this cursed <laughs> sword, but I want to make some money off of it. <laughs> make a little her bit of money. Sword is, is she really wants it out of her house, but it's a sword. A hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you've got your yurt. You've got all the all the goods. You, you you feel pretty confident in how your yurt is decorated, but maybe you need a neighbor. Um, <laughs> so yeah, why don't we get uh, the best neighbor of all? A life-sized Bigfoot statue. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 he's moving in. Alone in a yurt, you open it up and there is him and no more. Hey man, I noticed there's this weird Bigfoot statue inside your yurt, is that okay? What? I don't have a yurt. Grab my Bigfoot <laughs> statue and get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you all lowballed it pretty significantly. This Bigfoot, the giant life-size Yeti statue, can be yours for $2,299. Oh. So, you found Bigfoot. Now you need to unfind him. <laughs> what is the average price in the UK oh. for a contract killer? Oh, no. oh yes, no. okay. You asked the wrong person this. No, we're gonna kill Bigfoot? So we're going in pounds sterling for one. We are, This is in pounds. This one is in pounds. Oh, so, God. Okay, it's in Monopoly money? So Redemption. It, <laughs> this is the average. The average. Okay, so this on is... average, I would say <clears throat> probably about... Oh. Oh, there's yeah. that, there's that you know, what? Can you imagine? Listen, we need to meet in person. All right, I'm here. Here you go, and you Life hold. You, you hand him half a box of crickets. <laughs> All right, is that enough? So it's like a euro, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like twenty quid. So like my mentality is like two hey penny. This, <laughs> this is a this is a life. Well, well. I'm afraid you value a human life a little too high. Oh. It is 15,000 oh. pounds I, sterling. I wanted to do 15,000, I really did. Oh. So let's say the hitman is displeased with your offering of this giant gummy worm, but you know he's a Lord of the Rings fan. I present to you a Lord of the Rings hot <laughs> Cheeto that looks like Gandalf. <laughs> what? A Cheeto that looks like Gandalf. They, they, in the images, they make it very clear that this action figure... <laughs> action figure? ...can split. <laughs> oh no, that's bullshit. That's two Cheetos. That's two that, Cheetos. That, that affects the price significantly. All Cheetos kind of look like Gandalf staff. This, this <laughs> fucker found two Cheetos, put them together, <laughs> and was deciding to charge for it. Ten dollars. <laughs> Highballing it. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Savvy, uh, you are actually the closest because this is five thousand dollars. <laughs> Because this All guy's right. an idiot. I no, don't want to be right. Around. I refuse to accept that point. <laughs> All right. You know that this place, it's, it's going to go behind you soon enough. And so your next stop, M-A-R-S. Mars, bitches. <laughs> you want to own land on Mars. All right. Surely our our dark capitalism has not been limited to this planet. And uh, we've already begun selling uh, a 20-acre package of land on Mars. Loving that Photoshop of the woman. I love the bow. Like, they couldn't buy a bow for literally 60 cents. <laughs> Oh, but you can also enhance your land on planet Mars with some Can upgrades. I put a bow on it with Photoshop? <laughs> you can get your name printed on the deed, which is not included with a standard package. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not real! You're not really buying land on Mars! This doesn't count! Those are all fair guesses, but you've all lowballed it just slightly. You can buy the... the largest package of 20 acres for a whopping $249.99. Jesus. That's a steal for Mark. And by steal, I mean they're stealing your money. <laughs> yes. God. Yes. If we want a cricket-related end one, I do have a cricket-related end one. I think that's the most that appropriate. That seems appropriate, yeah. yeah okay. okay. What do you got for crickets? <clears throat> so, we have an ancient one. A genuine Baltic amber piece with a nice cricket fossil inside of it. Ooh. Oh, oh, a cricket encased in amber? Is is a nice cricket fossil the it is, phrasing it is, of- <laughs> Yes, it is in the name. <laughs> we all know the only nice true <laughs> An ancient cricket is worth a box. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, you, you got a dead cricket there. I'm gonna do you a solid. I'm gonna trade you this box of many, many alive crickets. They're much more interesting than your singular dead cricket. What is it? For this beauty, for this beauty, you'll need to pay 18 boxes of crickets at $408.59. I mean, for a cricket, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's like bedazzled cricket. Like, that's, that's got to cost more. That's a fancy cricket. I'm disappointed. I spent a long time trying to find how much it would cost to buy a professional cricket team like the sport, and I couldn't because no one on, I, no one on Earth gives a shit. So, like, wow. 